five, four, three, two, one, zero. Mission and lift off. Got speed Endeavor and crew two. Copy one alpha. Endeavor launches once again. Four astronauts from three countries on crew two, now making their way to the one and only International Space Station. The number of spaceflight launches is at all-time highs. With plans for cultivating tourism, there are increasing concerns about the potential impacts on Earth's atmosphere and environment. Some launches in the past have had a hefty carbon footprint from burning solid rocket fuel. This released harmful substances into our stratosphere, where they will remain for years. What's more concerning is that there are no regulations in place for spaceflight emissions. Although still incomparable to that of airline flights, they continue to increase at a rate of 5.6% each year. The worst of these rocket fuels include substances like UDMH, also known as the devil's poison. This fuel released from Russia's proton rockets turned the Kazakh steppe into an ecological disaster zone with further human health concerns. However, following industry experts calling for more thorough research into the impacts of rocket launches, many leading spaceflight companies have taken it upon themselves to carefully consider the environmental impacts of their chosen fuel. The most environmentally friendly fuel types are liquid hydrogen and liquid oxygen. Although they require larger rockets with more tanks to compensate for a low energy density, any impacts and emissions are practically negligible, as the exhaust is pure water vapor. These fuels are mostly used by NASA as the signature fuels of the American space program. They were also recently used on the Jeff Bezos Blue Origin mission. He aims to tackle climate change by moving industries that stress Earth systems into space. Even better, the Blue Origin rockets, as well as SpaceX's Falcon 9 rockets, are recycled for future launches, cutting out major unnecessary waste and harm to the environment. Although some failures are expected as technologies continue to develop, more spaceflight will facilitate improvements to Earth's observation systems, giving scientists a greater understanding of our climate. With these huge technological advancements, it's clear that the private space industry aims to not only be environmentally friendly, but to actively tackle climate change. To learn more about the environmental objectives of spaceflight, head on over to spacetv.net for all the latest news. For Space TV News, I'm Antonio Bustos.